Here is a JavaScript class that will enable you to upload bulk JSON data into Firebase Firestore file system. Before I take you through the code, let me demonstrate to you how it works. Let's say you have some JSON data stored in a JSON file. You want to upload or populate your Firebase Firestore database with this data. Here, for example, is some JSON file with over 500 items on it. What we want to do is we want to take this data and store this data in our Firebase database. In order to do this, so I came up with this JavaScript class that will enable you to transfer this data to Firestore in a matter of seconds. Let me show you how this works. Here I have my Cloud Firestore, and this is just a demo project. For the sake of this, I'm going to refresh this to make sure that there is no document or other collections within this Firebase project. As you can see, there are no documents here. Also, something I should mention to you. In the process of doing this, you would have to set your database rules to be uh, to allow both write and read uh, privileges. But let's go back to our code editor. I'm going to run a simple one line node CLI command that will transfer this JSON data onto a Firebase database. And here is the command. Uh, it has a couple of command line arguments, the first of which is just the JavaScript file we will be running. And the second is the JSON data file. So we need the location of the JSON data file in our computer system. The next of these arguments is the method, the Firebase method. Uh, for this class, we have an alternative of either the set method or the add method. And finally, the last of our arguments is just the name of the collection. This is what we are going to use as a collection name in our database. It may take a while. A successful message here is telling us that our file has successfully uh, transferred the JSON data onto our Firestore backend. And here, just as an addition, it also tells us the number of seconds it took for this file uh, to be uploaded onto our Firestore system. Now, to confirm that this really worked, let's go back to our uh, cloud a Firebase console and check to make sure that our data has been successfully transferred onto the database. I'm going to refresh this. As you can see, our data has been successfully transferred to our database. And if you see something here, you realize the IDs here are custom IDs, not the Firestore auto-generated IDs. But we also have a method that will give you the opportunity to allow Firebase to auto generate these IDs. Um, let's just run also that method. I'm going to change the method to add and uh, demo users auto generated IDs. So let's run this with the app command and see what happens. This also has successfully uploaded our JSON uh, file onto our Firestore backend. So if we should check our Firestore console, we'll see we have another collection with data. So here is another collection we just generated with over 500 items. But as you can see here, are uh, auto-generated uh, Firebase IDs. And so this is it. Now let's look at the code. Here in our JavaScript file, 
the first thing we had to do was to import Firebase. So we have Firebase and next we also had to uh, import the Node.js file system. Next, we have to initialize Firebase. So you will require the app uh, API key, auth domain, and the project ID to enable us to run this class and store the JSON data onto the Firebase uh, cloud or Firebase database system. Next is just a class. And I named the class popular JSON Firestore. In the class, the first thing we have is a constructor. Uh, the constructor here just initializes the class instance variables. For example, uh, the path of the JSON file and the type of the Firebase command we'll be using, and also the collection name. Then down below, I just a couple of controlled statements that will enable us to check to make sure that our uh, instant variables have values. And so that was just it for the constructor. And next we have the main method for this class, which is a populate uh, method. This method, what it does is it takes in the JSON data files and then, and just here we do some sort of a control statement to check if there's really data in our JSON file. Next, we do a recursive for loop to go through the data and on each loop, we store this data onto our Firebase uh, system using one of the methods. This could be the set or the add method. I will talk about these two methods a little bit in a, in a second. And finally, within this method, we have another controlled if statement, which basically just checks if our for loop has done processing uh, the data items in our JSON file. If that's done, then we just lock in a success upload message and also the time taken for that process to complete the add and set method that I just talked about, these two methods. So here we have the add method. As already demonstrated, the add method uh, here just sets the data to the Firestore database. Firestore auto generates the IDs. And while the set method gives you the chance to generate custom IDs for your uh, data. And uh, so that is just the main difference between the two methods create an instance of our class and then and then I run the populate method which is the main method of our class